What's up everyone, Manuel here, and in today's vlog, Edith and I are gonna take a stroll through the city for some street photography in the rain. And oh yeah, I also put together an intro for the channel, so let's uh, get that rolling so we can start this video. Although I often see photographers complain about rain and overcast, I actually love it. Uh, the reflections from the puddles, the atmosphere the rain creates, to just the simple fact that the sun isn't beating down on you. Not to mention that it's a hell of a lot easier to get great photos in these conditions. Yeah, I realize a lot of equipment isn't weather sealed, but I've, believed, I've always believed that gear is meant to be used and abused. Not to mention most of the time it's really more drizzle than anything else. And I say that as someone who didn't drop his camera during this video, but still managed to break off a part of my F3 on this outing, which meant I had to stop filming after just an hour of shooting, making the photography section of this video incredibly short. And that said, given that we don't get much rain out here in Southern California these days due to an inconvenient truth, um, and this was filled days prior to the world changing. I thought I'd go ahead and post this anyways as a very short vlog. Enjoy. So when I usually come out here, I'm usually just on that side, and that's because usually there's a lot of cars here. But today's there not. There is not. And I'm still getting used to vlogging again with Edith judging me from behind. I think we snuck onto Edith trying to get a product shot. I did. Trying to get featured on that mother's page. <laughs> Kind of sad actually that a lot of photographers don't like going out when it's uh, raining and I understand why wanting to protect your gear but at the same time you miss out on really scenic shots because holy shit those clouds and that you know foreground fuck yeah We are done with this one. This fucking sucks, what the fuck? What did you do? Okay, all right, that's just my life now. I'll always have this on. So, it got a lot brighter and we decided to take a break by having Umami Burger. And just as we got out, clouds are kind of coming and going. We're gonna go meet up with Steven right now and hopefully meet up with a few other friends, get some model shoots going. Um, the switch on my Nikon F3 is still broken. That has not been fixed, but luckily it's in the on position. So, I can still take photos, but I keep accidentally pressing the shutter button. And I had two drinks, so I'm nice and liquored up 
to talk more uh, naturally to you guys without giving a fuck about any of these uh, casuals over here on our right. But yeah, we be fucking YouTubers. Edith, any choice words? Any what? Any choice words? No. Nope. All right, catch you on the next one. And that wraps up uh, this week's video. As I said, this was a little bit or a lot more on the shorter side and chaotic just because my F3 broke and ruined my plans for the day. But I hope this was still a fun watch. I know I said the next video would either be a review of the Nikon F100 or my trip to Portland, but I forgot I had this in the tank and I shot it prior to leaving for Portland. So it just made sense to post this first and given a couple of really shitty comments I got in my last two uploads. I thought I'd move around the upload schedule to squeeze in a uh, channel update uh, to address the larger idea behind those comments, um, the channel as it stands, my life during this pandemic and what to expect moving forward. I don't expect it to get a lot of views, but those videos are more about myself just venting. So I don't inflate the runtime of a video with me just ranting on like I'm doing here. and. I'd like to have, you know, that out there before moving on to maybe a bi-weekly upload schedule to focus on putting out better content that'll hopefully start growing the channel while also giving me some time to actually film and live my life without getting overwhelmed with uh, weekly upload schedules. And <laughs> I know that sounds really stupid, but after four years of doing YouTube with very minimal growth, this is the one approach I haven't tried. So I figured I'd, you know, give it a shot since, as I said before, this is my only outlet during the pandemic. And even before all this hell, the channel was the only place I felt appreciated in. Um, I know social media has this bad reputation of creating an unhealthy desire for validation from strangers. But honestly, before this all, I was really only known for making bootleg band merch. Um, with permission though, mind you. Uh, for fashion punks on Etsy. Um, yeah, it did and does continue to financially support me when the going gets tough, but just barely. And that's hilarious considering from, from what I hear, uh, Fox Life has this reputation of being successful uh, despite no one knowing who the fuck I am. And seriously, uh, people have gone on and on about the Etsy for years, about how it's important to the greater social dynamic. And I've heard from friends and family or partners about random compliments the shop would get on the streets. But in the past seven years, I've kept that site running and you know, having links to my Instagram and YouTube. Not once have I heard from a single, not, not once have I heard a single compliment from those fans about what I'm trying to do here or on Instagram, or even asking about what the plans was or what the plan was for Fox Live going forward. It's always just been Oh my God, punk patches, yas, revolution, take my money and give me, give me, give me. And see, I'm ranting again, but I'll get more into that in a channel update video because I feel like this is all coming off as ungrateful without more context. But what I'm trying to say here is thank you all once again for coming out to this channel and watching these videos. I'm incredibly grateful for that because uh, for once in over a decade of pursuing artistic ventures, there are people here taking an interest and <laughs> seriously, I've written countless prose on Tumblr, made some shitty poetry zines and posted so much bullshit to Instagram that for once to finally have something of a platform, thanks to all of you, I don't care how often I've repeated this, but I really fucking appreciate it. You're all awesome. And I want everyone watching this through to the end to know that, but yeah, I still need to grow this channel so there will be an emphasis on quality over content or quality over quantity. Um, there will be some reviews I and I hope, you know, uh, I don't lose a lot of you as I go into my actual photo projects, which are all political in nature, but are something that speak to me and uh, something I want to document here. I'll leave you all with some footage from later in the day when Edith and I met up with some more friends at a local bowling alley where I jokingly commented that this could be the last time we would all be able to see each other. <laughs> Fucking hell, right? See you on the next one. <laughs> I don't know how to end this.
One hour later, the clouds finally came out and overtook the sun again. We are now joined with Priscilla. It's turning into a party now. And since he's I'm inviting slightly out, drunk. I'm still pretty buzzed. Still pretty buzzed. Oh, watch out for that guy re 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 reversing. <laughs> that is the word. Jose has uh, hit me up on Instagram to let me know that he will be fixing up my F3 and offered to let me his, but this one's actually super sentimental to me. So I'm probably just gonna shut up. I, I told you deep dark secrets, I didn't see and you are laughing oh, at me. Oh, I know about it. You are laughing at my is that pain. The, is that the one? The one? The one. That's the one. No, it's the three. F3. I know, but is that the one? The three. Mm -hmm. Hey, we oh, yes, I did. I need to reply to that. He did. So I sent him like.